Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Hasbunallah wa neem al wakil. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. It's Thursday. Welcome to Johnny's Bite. Yesterday, I was shocked to the marrow. And I mean, put a receipt up there. This is how much we're selling LPG for. And I hear every time that, oh, we want to stop people and, 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 and encourage people not to use charcoal and firewood and we are planting trees. And, and LPG, 14 kg, is 270 Ghana cities. LPG, 14 kg is 270 Ghana cities. Let that sink in. So you are trying to use clean fuel and you are paying 270 Ghana cities for 14 kilograms of LPG. If you do the division, 14 kilograms, selling at 270 cities, it's quite on the high side. It is on the high side. LPG, 14 kg. Let that sink in. And as I told you about the fact that some people come to the gas filling station these days and they buy 20 CDs, 30 CDs. Some buy 40 CDs, 50 CDs. They can't fill the cylinders up. They cannot fill the cylinders up. LPG, 14 kg is 270 Ghana cities. How do you want people to be able to afford it? How, I'm asking a question, a simple question. How do you want people to be able to afford it? How? How do you want people to be able to afford 14 kg of LPG, liquefied petroleum gas, at 270 Ghana cities? How do you want people to be able to afford it? So all the efforts we are making, cylinder recirculation, we are planting trees, we say people should not use uh, charcoal, we are trying to say don't use firewood, etc. People will go back to those things because they cannot afford 270 cities. And I had a shock of my life yesterday when I saw it. 270 Ghana cities. So if somebody is paid, what do you call it? 700 Ghana cities, 800 Ghana cities. If the person is an NSS person, for example, or a NAPCO person, for example, how do they survive? 14 kg. Let that sink in. 14 kg of LPG is 270 Ghana cities in Oman, Ghana. Find me in another street. And there's a mistrust. This was what Nanado said on the 6th of December 20, 2016. Shaneke Tekete 1242 a.m. In fact, it was it's midnight, 1242 a.m. He says, many of you have lost trust in politicians because of broken promises. But I want you to give me the opportunity to serve you differently. Many of you, it's a Thursday, we're throwing back. Many of you have lost trust in politicians. And when you speak to a lot of young people, they say, oh, I'm not going to queue to vote. I don't trust the politicians, blah, blah, blah. Nanado said, give, because of that, give me the opportunity. Let me serve you differently. Come to me. Now, can we ask our president how differently he has served us? Can we honestly ask and, and be sure that we will get an answer how differently our president has served us? How different has he been from his predecessors? From the Jerry Rawlings era, to the Jay Kufour era, to the uh, uh, John Mahama era, to the, um, to the Atamil's era, to the John Mahama era, and to his era. How differently has he served us? 
if you like, you can extend it, uh, go go back into the Liman era, do the Buzia era, do the, what do you call it, Kwame Nkrumah era, do the military uh, interventions that we had, unnecessary military interventions. Go, go back and do it. How differently has our president served us? And I'm asking this question because, show me the doors that have been locked. I'm asking this question because, this one, yesterday, the TUC and the unions at ICO, they had cause to go and lock the doors. And they say no entry for Ali Gibam. Closed until new managing director is appointed by the board of directors. I've spoken about this man for God knows how long I've shown you documents, etc. The presidency doesn't seem interested to be able to enforce it. When the president had the opportunity, he immortalized himself. Show me the president's statue. He immortalized himself by having a statue. Same thing happened at the Yoko. Our president immortalized himself in the Western region. By, they, they put a statue up there and he immortalized himself. When Jay Kufo gave himself the gold chain, people complained. He gave himself the award. Order of whatever. People complained. And he said, oh, give me an opportunity. Let me serve you differently. Now, before the man leaves, he is immortalizing himself. He is doing statue. He will not wait for people to do the statue. For He himself is unveiling his own statue. The president is unveiling his own statue. He is endorsing his own self and immortalizing himself. I'm sure if he had the opportunity to canonize himself, he would have called himself St. Tekufuado. Let's go back to Alegibam. There's a, there's a letter, and that's the man where, and everybody, it's, it's, it's strange how, put, put a man's picture up there. It's strange how the man, one man, the presidency has written to him, and the presidency has proven that they have no power and authority. The man was supposed to have left office on the 7th of March. Today is the 7th of November. So 7th of April, 7th of May, 7th of June, 7th of July, 7th of August, 7th of October, 7th of September, 7th of November. He's still there at post. He says, nobody can sack me. And the regional minister had the shock of his life when he thought that he was shielding the man up to some point. The man says he will not go anywhere until the MPP goes into opposition. The words of the regional minister. Let's read the letter. This was a letter that Dr. Bonaventure Benedict Legibam wrote to his predecessor. His predecessor was Mr. Sebastian K. Bajina. Icon Limited, P.O. Box 70, Tono Navrongo. He wrote this letter on the 20th of January, 2022. Listen to the letter. He says, compulsory retirement. We wish to notify you that by our records, you were born on 31st May 1962, which means you will attain the compulsory retirement age of 60 years on 31st May 2022. You are therefore to hold yourself in readiness to proceed on retirement with effect from 31st May 2022. You may also proceed on any outstanding leave within the last two years prior to your retirement. We count on your usual cooperation. Thanks, yours faithfully, Honorable Dr. Bonaventure Benedict Alegebam, Managing Director. He, he wrote to his predecessor to tell him that your time is coming. Your time will be due soon. So hold yourself in readiness. When your time is due, go away. And this Mr. Sebastian K. Bajina, he didn't stay a day more in office. He went away. So why is the same man who wrote and put an honorable title on himself. Why is he refusing to go? Even after the presidency has written to him, after the Greek minister, by the champion, has written to him, after the regional um, a minister, who is the board chairman of ICO, has written to him, after the HR has written to him, why is he not going? And the unions had, had a love letter to write to the presidency. Let's read it together. They wrote this not so long ago, a few days ago. 
A few days ago, they wrote reminding the presidency of what they themselves had put up there. General Agricultural Workers Union of the TUC. All right? Mm -hmm. They said that to the Honorable Regional Minister, Board Chairman, ICOR, and to the Chief of Staff, and they are writing through the Regional Minister to the Chief of Staff. This is what they, are, they have written. Let's read it together for the benefit of those on radio. It says, Dear Sir, Petition over Dr. Legebam's refusal to hand over upon retirement from ICO Limited, despite the directive of your respected outfit, Office of the Chief of Staff, Office of the President. We refer to the letter of the Chief of Staff, Office of the President, dated September 12, 2024, with reference STR stroke DA39 stroke 113 stroke 01 stroke C, in respect of the above matter. In the said letter, your respected outfit issued a directive to Dr. Benedict Bonaventure Legibam to hand over his office immediately following his retirement on March 7, 2024. It will be recalled that similar letters from the Human Resource Officer of ICO, Madam Agatha Akurugu, uh, the Minister for Agriculture, Honorable Brian Champong, and the former regional minister for the Upper East Region, Honorable Stephen Yakubu, have all been ignored by Dr. Legebam. Madam, following uh, your directive, the Upper East Regional Minister has made frantic efforts to get Dr. Legebam to hand over the office by the end of October 2024, all to no avail. It has therefore become abundantly clear to the whole world that Dr. Legebam does not respect any authority and the laws of Ghana. What is shocking is that he has shown gross disrespect to even the office of chief of staff and by extension office of the president. In the light of the above, among many other issues, the General Agriculture Workers Union of the TUC, in collaboration with the Ghana Trades Union Congress, have resolved as follows. One, that with immediate effect, the union and workers of ICO shall cease recognizing Dr. Alegebam as managing director of ICO. Hence, instructions issued by him shall be disregarded with impunity it deserves. That Dr. Alegebam shall not be allowed every uh, entry and access to the office of the managing director with immediate effect. The office of the MD shall be cordoned off and any keys thereto shall be handed over to appropriate authority for safekeeping. Only a managing director authorized by the board shall be allowed access to the office of the managing director. This is to ensure sanity and preserve the sanctity of the office. Three, the board should immediately appoint a suitable replacement to Dr. Legibam, in incoming managing director, to take over. This is a sure way to bring closure to the impunity. Four, we call on the regional minister to ensure that the company's bankers cease recognizing Dr. Legebam's signature in respect of any expenditure or transactions. Furthermore, all financial handles controlled by Dr. Legebam should be blocked with immediate effect. Five, Dr. Legebam should be made to return the company vehicle along with all company property in his possession into the company. Six, Dr. Legebam's sister board secretary, who was brought in by him against established practice and convention, should be made to step down since her appointment has not been validated by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture, which is the administrative body that facilitates the constitution of the board. And any other board member who has retired from the institution he represents should also be made to step down and give way for that institution to reappoint someone else from the institution who is still in active service to properly represent uh, them on the board. This is the established practice. Seven, by copy of this petition, we invoke the authority of the Economic and Organized Crime Office and the Office of the Special Prosecutor to investigate all expenditures and other financial transactions executed by Dr. Legebam during the period March 8, 2024 to October 31, 2024. All signatories to the company account must desist from signing checks or approving transactions with Dr. Legebam as or aiding his illegality by sending company cash to him upon his request. Any such officer or officers 
who do contrary to this should be made to suffer the penalty for it. Nine, Dr. Legebam should be held solely responsible for any mishaps that may result from his attempt to re-enter the office and any danger posed to workers of ICO. Ten, the disrespectful conduct of Dr. Legebam must be stopped now in order to redeem the image and dignity of the most revered office of the Chief of Staff, Office of the President. We are hereby, we hereby give assurance that um, we, the workers, are determined to work to the best of our abilities and in partnership with farmers, our clients, to ensure the objective of government for investing in ICO is achieved. The company's growth and development is a, uh, in limbo with Dr. Legebam's continuous stay in the office. He has exhibited poor working relationship with all the stakeholders of the company, that is workers, farmers, etc. Finally, we submit ourselves to supporting the board to resolve the matter once and for all. We count on your prompt action on this matter. And look at all the signatories who have signed this and copied to everybody who needs to be copied. And the question is, why allow one man to hold the whole country and the presidency ransom? Why? When I tell you that we are not being governed, you say, no, this man doesn't like the government. But this is empirical evidence with the videos. Eh, there's a video of Dr. Ligaman telling the people that nobody can sack him. Play the video for me. Find that video and play for me. Presence One man. And many other people have suffered this. Adams, we're not here for rhetoric. Okay. We're not here for rhetoric. If you want to start, we'll start from another end. When the day comes, we'll start. Okay. But I'm saying that. Management gave an invitation letter to Sebastian Achebase as a staff yes. of IPO. If Sebastian Achebase found that he needs to come here with people, it will be communicated to management, to be considered, not to be considered. We cannot have this intrusion into this meeting. So please leave. I think no. Sebastian came and introduced the gentleman. The gentleman feels threatened. He feels threatened. He feels threatened. There should be no shame. Adam, 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 why do you want him alone? No, 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 no. What are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. The best in the and morning is on 92.7. Sunrise I'm, on 3FM. I invited you to give you a phone to him. Yes. You're not safe. Yes. Yes. Come in here. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Now you're going to get in this way. Once you're not safe in the premises of Ike, my name will take it. No, he didn't say it. He didn't say that. I call. Don't misquote him. This, he didn't say so. This man in man group. Okay, okay. Yes. Sunrise on the No, I'm not your colleague. Uh, but the me. truth is that you, let me even, let's even raise this issue. Now that you are saying that he should, he should have come alone. The fact is that per the documents we have, you are not even supposed to be in this meeting. Oh. You are, you are retirement. <laughs> you are on retirement. Yes. Okay, that is the fact. Okay, yes. 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 You are my employer. I'm not your employer, but your employer okay. has given you a letter that you should be on retirement. Can you produce that letter here? Oh, oh I have that letter here. Produce it. Go I will produce it like the way you have refused to produce the one they have given you the contract extension. I'm not going to produce it. I refuse to produce who? To who? Whosoever you are supposed to produce to. To who? I don't oh, know. Your employment letter your was employment delivered letter to the office. In, it was delivered in, to ICO. That one is not delivered to ICO. You know what? Yes. You have no capacity. You are not in any position to question my status. In the ICO has capacity. ICO has the capacity. Your employment ICO letter was delivered here. No, we are not. We are ICO. ICO is now you. ICO the welfare of the people. No, I mean, please, we, please, we, please, 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 no, it's because, no, look, look and we, like he's saying, if you were to win. accept your retirement, we have people we have equally and we would have, capable, yes. qualified, who can take, who can take <laughs> up this position, he's there, my boss is there. Embrace your retirement and leave, and that's all. Okay, okay sir, huh? okay, sir. You have to be very careful the comments of us. That's why, I'm very, very careful. I'm very careful. That's why right. we think that this thing, this when you were in active service, you were doing these things to us. Yes. Everybody has suffered Someone in your hands. To you. All of us. We all here. suffered in we your hands. We all suffered under your hands. Many people have suffered in your hands. Now you are on retirement. You still you want us to be suffering like that. People. 
What is that? You still want us to be suffering like that? Adam, it's not that you know where. Adam, I am well aware yes. that most of you are looking for my bag. Nobody is looking for your bag. Nobody is looking for your bag. Why not look? Why should you look for your bag for what? Let me tell you. Yes. I know and I saw messages passed across. I've not said anything. I'm saying that in what capacity do you are you standing to question my employer's status? Are you also questioning the the agreed ministers? Agreed ministers. The agreed minister. You are questioning his capacity. The agreed minister. Yes. Yes. You think the agreed minister is not lack capacity to write to you? Adams. Adams. You know what? Yes. You cannot question me on that. But you can question a great minister. Why? I can question. You can question a great minister. You can question. You can question a great minister. Why? 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 And you think we cannot question you? Why you think he should? You should go and stand there. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Ah. Oh no, he said he can question. We are seven. We are seven. We are seven. He said we are all seven Madagans. So why he asked him to go? But nobody can question him. Why he is there? God bless our motherhood. God bless Madagascar. We will resist this oppressor's rule. That is it. You need you you have the capacity to question the agreed minister saying that I employ you. Your employment passed through the agreed minister. And help us to resist the oppressor with all our will and my forevermore. It will happen. And help us to resist the oppressor with all our will and my forevermore. And help us to resist the oppressors. And my forevermore. Not today, not today. And help us to resist the oppressors with all our will. And my forevermore. Oh, that, that doesn't suck me from my heart. We are not we to are suck you. We, we, we don't have the capacity to, lack, to, to suck you. That is a beautiful one here. Beautiful one here. <laughs> ah, the, the man said the anthem has fallen inside water it will not suck him from the office <laughs> can you imagine one man has boldly demonstrated to us over and over again in fact the March 7 date I'm talking about for 2024 right was three months extension of the original retirement day and after March 7 one man has boldly demonstrated to us how weak our government and the leadership of the country is. They have told us that the people who are leading us are weaklings. One man has demonstrated to the whole country, whether by disregarding the letter from the presidency or the Greek ministry or from the HR or from the regional manager who is the board chairman, just one man has told us that we are being led by weak people, weaklings. One man, just one man. You heard him in the tape. I am not manufacturing that. One man says, our president down to the last man, they are weak, weaklings leading us. One man has the most, show the living legend. There's a living legend in Equatorial Guinea, but this is our own living legend. One man, one man, he has shown the whole country that we are being led by weak people. That a letter from the presidency to say leave the office immediately can be so disregarded. It had to take the unions to take their destiny into their own hands to lock the door. And to write to say they will not recognize one, one man, one person. One man has shown us that we have weak leadership. Our leadership in this country is very, very weak. The letter came from no, no less a place, oh, no, the presidency. And one man is able to demonstrate to all of us that, look, you have been led by weak people. What more is there to say? Because if I say everything now, what will I say tomorrow? So we will meet tomorrow. But in the meantime, copy this number and call me. 055-924-2717 and 055-691-0154. 055-924-2717 and 055-691-0154. Take a quick break. On return... Your course will be live on 3FM 92.7 on sunrise. Hey, my buddy. So, you still have...